afternoon, everybody. So today I am going to teach you guys how to do some face masks. So the governor's official executive order has started today and maybe you don't have access to masks that you can get at the store or online. So I'm gonna show you how to make it with things that you have at home, hopefully. So the first mask I'm gonna show you how to make is a sock mask. It's got little ear holes. You just put it on, put it in your ear, and that's it. Okay? So this is made out of socks. So you're gonna need two black socks and a glue gun. And the second mask I'm gonna show you how to make is a t-shirt mask. And again, you got the ear holes. You just put this over your ears and then tie it behind your neck or behind your head. All right, so we're gonna start with the socks. So what you're gonna need are two socks. I imagine that many of you, just like myself, have sock monsters in your house, whether it be the washing machine, your significant other, the dog, possibly the cat, anybody in your house that is preventing you from finding your match to your socks. And no, I'm not giving them to Dobby. So two socks, they don't have to match because they probably don't match. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the sock that you want for the outside of your mask. And then you're just gonna cut off the bottom part. You want the top, because this is where your nose is gonna be, but cut off the bottom. So you're gonna go ahead and do that. So you don't need this part. And then once you have this part, you're gonna hold your sock like this, and you're gonna cut this part right here. So this is the top side of the sock. And then when you open it up, you know how it says? So now you need a way to get it around your ears. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna fold the sock in half. Okay? And we're just gonna put a little cut in here, and that's gonna be the ear holes. So. Just a little cut. So when I open it up, it's got a hole there. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Alrighty. So now I have ear holes. We put it around. Whoa. So you can do the mask just as it is, just like this. The problem with leaving your mask like this is it's only one layer and it's not as safe to just have one layer. An outside layer, which is what this is gonna be. And you wanna add an inside layer. So the inside layer is gonna be the other sock. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm going to just cut off the bottom half. And this can be a little bit smaller because this is gonna be on the inside. And then I'm going to cut the top again. So I don't need an extra set of ear holes because that's just going to cause extra stress on my ears. So what you want to do, you can actually cut this ribbon off the top as well. You just want the inside, so you make an inside um, part of your mask. So I'm going to cut the top stretch off. So it's not so much weight on my face. And then I don't know if you're someone like me, but I am not a very good sewer. So I'm going to use the hot glue gun to adhere this part of the mask to the inside of this mask. All right. So you're going to note that it's a little bit longer. And all you have to do is cut off that excess. So I'm going to fold it again. I'm going to cut off this inside. So now what's going to happen is this is just going to be for right here. Just that secondary protection. So I'm going to take the glue gun and I'm going to glue the part I want on the inside of my mask. And this is the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this right to the bottom here. Like that. 
And then I'm just gonna secure this in here. So this is my second layer. I'm gonna glue right here. I'm gonna glue at the top right here. And then lastly, I'm just gonna glue that very last corner so all four sides are glued down. And that's it. So now I have an inside layer and I have an outside layer. And I have a bunch of little pieces of glue here. And then you're just gonna wear it. And that's it. So you might want to stretch it out a little bit so that your ears aren't getting cold. So that's one way you can make a mask. So now I have two. The other way, which I find this a little bit more comfortable because socks are not really meant to go on your face and the fact that socks go on your feet, um, some people might not like. So what you're gonna need is a t-shirt. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut out all the um, the whole back side. So basically, you want to cut a rectangle. So we're going to start at the bottom. I'm going to cut here. here, just on the outside of the sleeves and right underneath your neckline. So you don't have to be super precise on your first cut. It's gonna be all sorts of jagged lines. We're gonna fix that. So if you do this correctly, you should be able to get two masks out of one shirt. So now you have your rectangle. It's all sorts of crooked. Now we're gonna make it straight. So what you wanna do is fold it into a triangle. much like you're doing origami and you're trying to get that perfect square out of that rectangle piece of paper. So I'm gonna cut mine, I'm gonna overlap mine so I can cut more of a straight line here. You can get fancy, you can use a, a marker to cut straighter. Um, I'm not gonna do that though. Okay. Okay. So that's my triangle, and I'm just gonna cut it right here. Okay, I'm gonna cut right here. Don't mind the peanut gallery dog. And then I'm just gonna cut this to make it even. Okay. 
So basically we're making a bandana. If you don't already have a bandana at home, this is what we're doing. So I could leave it just like this and just tie it around the back of my neck. Or I can make it just a little bit more comfortable. And so I don't have to tie it super tight. I'm going to make little ear holes. So what you're going to do, you're going to put it up. Mark where your ear starts. So right about here. Okay. I'm going to put that down. And then I'm just going to fold it where my ear starts. There. Right there. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the sock. I'm just going to cut little slits in it so it goes over my ear. So on this side, I'm just going to cut in a little. And on this side, I'm just going to cut in a little. All right. So now I should have a hole here and a hole here. And that way, it stays without me tying it. But for safety, I'm going to put it over my ear. And I'm just gonna tie it in the back. Woo! And that's it. And it's beneficial because it's got two layers. And if you have a bunch of really cool shirts with patterns on it, my suggestion to you would be to make the pattern on the outside so you always know that this is the side that's gonna face out and you're not mixing and matching by putting the outside one time and the inside the other time. So for this one, same thing, over the ears. Ooh. And behind the neck or behind the head. Okay. So pretty easy, you can make it at home. Hopefully you have a bunch of t-shirts at home um, that you can tear up. If not, I'm almost positive that everyone has a sock monster in their house and they have extra socks. So this is a super easy way to do it. If you have really fun, really crazy, really colorful socks, super fun. And all you'll need is a glue gun. If you don't have a glue gun, fabric glue will work. Uh, you can try other types of glue. I'm just not sure if it'll hold up in the wash. So. Give it a whirl, try it at home, and post up in the comments your awesome creative activities and ideas and show us how you did. All right, until next Wednesday, three o'clock.